Hey guys, this is gonna be a quick video. I was working on the latest tutorial which was to make our guy stuff to chase the player once the player gets inside of his aura among to do chases in three different ways. But while working on it, I found something that has to do with time. And as it turns out, it takes one frame for RPG Maker to refresh in a parallel loop or pretty much just a refresh in general. So what I mean by that is that for every single frame, this will increment by one and for the most part that sounds pretty obvious but in a situation where we're having a timer involved such as a custom self-made timer it turns out that this one frame and the one frame to go from top to bottom is actually cumulative so this means that this is actually incrementing every two frames and this is incrementing every single one frame and we can actually test it out so if I press F9, we'll be taking to our menu with switches and variables. If I just scroll over to where it is, which is here, 13 and 14, you will actually see that no weight is roughly twice as much as weight one frame, which actually does reflect what I said. So this will tick up for every two frames, and this one's going to tick up every single frame. So what I'm going to do is just let it tick up and up and up just to prove that the difference in time does not gap as it gets longer and longer. So here you'll see again, this is roughly half of this. And it really does prove to be right. So conversely, if I create another switch and call this wait five frames, or wait four frames. So this is going to wait four frames and then it's going to tick up. So this is actually going to increment every five frames. And it is true. 150 divided by five is in fact 30. And this is the one that's ticking every two frames. So it's kind of neat. So there is one thing that I haven't tested yet, and that is with loops. As we all know, if we include a loop inside of a parallel process, it will more than likely lag. And you can tell very obviously that it's lagging. But I'm curious to see how the timer works and check it out. Isn't that really interesting to see? I think it's so very, very interesting. Never tried it, and this is actually my first time seeing it with you guys. But I'm going to see what happens if I add a wait one frame. This one's ticking every four, so what if I actually do add five? Make it wait five frame. Will it actually be five times less? You can tell that there's still lag going on. You can clearly see it with the FPS over there. And yep, it's it's still all weird and wonky. Now for loops, I have no idea why it works this way. And it was more or less something I wanted to test out and see. And I guess we're seeing it for the first time. So if you guys seen my t custom timer tutorial, please readjust your wait timer with this in mind. And also, of course, never create a loop inside a parallel process unless you know exactly what you are doing 100%. Oh god, it crashed. <laughs> that was weird. RPG Maker just crashed on me. All right, I guess that's a sign to uh, stop the video for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, hit that like button and check out the rest of my tutorials as well as other things that I do here on this channel. To the next one, you guys. Later.